Have you ever met someone who seems to stand apart from the rest? Not because they seek attention, but because they simply don't need it. Ever wondered what makes them tick? Welcome to the enigmatic realm of Sigma males, a breed distinct from the more familiar Alpha and Beta males. Unlike Alphas and Betas, Sigma males are not embroiled in the game of dominance or submission. Instead, they champion independence and self-sufficiency. If you're intrigued by this, stick around as we delve into the fascinating world of Sigma males. Sigma males, often misunderstood, are a unique breed. They are the lone wolves of society, often marching to the beat of their own drum. Journey with me now as we delve into the spectrum of male personalities, from the dominant alphas to the elusive sigmas. Picture a spectrum, a vast expanse of colors, each hue representing a different type of masculinity. At one end we have the alphas, the traditional leaders, the ones who command attention and respect. They are the social butterflies, always in the limelight, their energy infectious, their charisma palpable. But as we move along this spectrum, the colors start to shift. Enter the betas, the right-hand men to the alphas. They are supportive, reliable, and often more introverted. They are content to play second fiddle, to lend a helping hand, to be the calm in the storm. And then there's a shift, a change in hue, as we reach the gammas and deltas, these guys are the peacekeepers, the nurturers. They're not as commanding as the alphas or as supportive as the betas, but they play a vital role in the social structure. They are the glue that holds everything together. Finally, we reach the fascinating end of the spectrum where the sigma males reside. Sigmas are the rule breakers, the pathfinders. They don't conform to societal norms or expectations, preferring to chart their own course. They are introverted, yes, but not out of shyness or fear. No, they are introverted by choice, finding solace in their solitude, strength in their self-reliance. They are comfortable in their own skin, content with their own company. They don't need the validation of others to feel fulfilled. Instead, they draw their satisfaction from within, from accomplishing their own goals, from living life on their own terms. Sigma males are not just introverts, they're introverts who have mastered the art of living on their own terms. They are the epitome of individuality, the embodiment of the phrase, to each his own. In a world that's constantly trying to fit people into boxes, they are the ones who refuse to be categorized, who refuse to be anything but unapologetically themselves. What sets Sigma males apart is their preference for solitude. But why do they prefer to be alone? It's a question that has puzzled many. Are they simply antisocial? Or is there something more profound at play? In truth, the Sigma male's preference for solitude is rooted in their love for freedom. They are the lone wolves, the rebels who refuse to be bound by societal norms. They crave the freedom to think, to explore, to create on their own terms. For them, solitude is not a prison, it's a sanctuary. It's an oasis where they can quench their thirst for autonomy. Then there's the Sigma male's disdain for societal norms. They don't see the world in black and white, but in a kaleidoscope of possibilities. They challenge the status quo, question the rules, and rewrite them in their own unique way. They don't fit into neat boxes, they shatter them. This can be intimidating to some, but for Sigma males, it's just part of who they are. They are not rebels without a cause, but rebels with a purpose. Lastly, Sigma males find satisfaction in their own company. They don't need constant validation or approval from others to feel content. Their self-worth is not tied to how many friends they have or how popular they are. They find joy in their own thoughts, their own ideas, their own pursuits. They are their own best company. This doesn't mean they're incapable of forming meaningful relationships. On the contrary, when a Sigma male chooses to connect, it's deep and meaningful. They may have fewer relationships, but the ones they do have are rich in depth and understanding. So the next time you see a Sigma male choosing to spend time alone, remember this. Their solitude is not a sign of loneliness, but a testament to their independence. It's a choice, not a circumstance. It's a strength, not a weakness. It's not about being alone, but about being at peace with oneself. Their solitude is not a sign of loneliness, but a testament to their independence. Another striking trait of Sigma males is their self-sufficiency. But what does that mean? Well, simply put, 
Self-sufficiency is the ability to supply one's own needs without outside assistance. It's about being self-reliant, independent, and autonomous. For Sigma males, this trait is as natural as breathing. They don't just prefer to rely on themselves. They thrive on it. They find immense satisfaction in knowing they can meet their own needs, solve their own problems, and navigate life's challenges on their own terms. It's not a matter of pride or an attempt to prove something to the world. It's a core part of their identity, a testament to their strength and resilience. But self-sufficiency doesn't mean they shun all forms of assistance. No, Sigma males are practical beings. They understand and appreciate the value of collaboration when necessary. However, they don't let dependence become a habit. They maintain their autonomy, their freedom, their ability to stand alone. And here's where it gets interesting. Sigma males are not driven by a need for external validation. They don't seek approval or recognition from others. Their sense of worth comes from within, from their own assessment of their actions and achievements. They are their own toughest critics and their own biggest cheerleaders. This is the power of Sigma self-sufficiency, the ability to rely on oneself, to find validation from within, to be one's own anchor in the stormy seas of life. For Sigma males, their worth is not determined by others, but by themselves. Sigma males are often perceived as mysterious or secretive, but why is that? A question that's been mulled over time and again. The answer lies in the very essence of their character, threading through their introverted nature, preference for privacy, and their tendency to reveal little about themselves. Diving deeper into their world, Sigmas are introverts at heart. Unlike their alpha counterparts who thrive on social interactions and the limelight, Sigma males are content in their own company. They prefer the quiet corners of a room over the bustling center stage. This introverted nature often comes across as being secretive, but in reality, they are just selective about who they open up to and when. Another layer to their perceived secretiveness is their preference for keeping their plans and goals to themselves. Sigma males are known for their strategic minds and their ability to plan ahead. They seldom share their future plans, not because they enjoy being cryptic, but simply because they prefer the solitude of their thought process. They believe in the power of silent success, where their accomplishments speak louder than their words. This discretion can often be misunderstood as secretiveness. At the core of a Sigma male's personality is their tendency to reveal little about themselves. They don't feel the need to share their life story with everyone they meet. Instead, they choose to keep their personal lives private, revealing only what they deem necessary. This doesn't mean they have anything to hide. On the contrary, it's a reflection of their independence and self-reliance. They are comfortable with who they are, and they feel no need to seek validation from others. In a world that often equates openness with honesty, the Sigma male's secretiveness can be misinterpreted. But it's important to remember their secretiveness is not a sign of deceit, but a reflection of their independence and self-reliance. Sigma males move to the beat of their own drum, and that's what makes them uniquely captivating. So what have we learned about Sigma males? In the vast tapestry of human personalities, Sigma males are akin to enigmatic lone wolves, carving their own path and writing their own rules. They are the silent observers, the thinkers, the ones who prefer the company of their thoughts over the noise of the crowd. We've discussed how Sigma males thrive in solitude. Unlike their alpha counterparts who bask in the limelight, Sigmas are comfortable in their own company. They do not seek validation from others, nor do they care for societal norms. They are not antisocial. They simply value their alone time, using it to reflect, recharge, and realign their thoughts and goals. We've also touched upon their self-sufficiency. Sigma males are the masters of their fate. They depend on no one but themselves. This self-reliance is not born out of pride or arrogance, but rather a deep-seated belief in their capabilities and a desire for self-improvement. They are the ones who are always learning, always growing, always striving to be the best versions of themselves. And of course, we can't forget their secretiveness. Sigma males are like a well-guarded fortress, revealing only what they want you to see. They're not aloof, but rather selective about what they share and with whom. This air of mystery often leaves others intrigued and sometimes confused. 
But for Sigma males, it's just another layer of their complex personality. In essence, Sigma males are not just introverts or lone wolves. They are self-contained individuals who value their autonomy, carve their own path, and live by their own rules. They do not fit into conventional societal molds, and that's what makes them stand out. They are a unique breed, marching to the beat of their own drum and living life on their own terms. Sigma males are a unique breed, marching to the beat of their own drum and living life on their own terms.